so hi everyone welcome back to another episode in last video we have learned about how to create a string methods okay so not a string method what is the use of a string two times underscore as you, as you can see on the screen how to define this one okay so now we already learn about you know from these methods other than a string we have learned how to define classes how to define uh, how to use init method how to use str how to create uh, classes sorry uh, objects and then how we can pass different argument and then how to print it and how to can document okay so now we are going to create one complete class and that is called and and that class inside that class we are going to define some object method okay so all these method till now discuss that as default or inbuilt methods okay so these are inbuilt functions or method do not confuse either you can call it so till now we have already we till now we have covered only inbuilt method now we are going to create some our own methods okay so let's suppose for this example create the class name and its attribute so if you are following this one constructor we have already created the constructor such as the calculation for gpa and printing the student information so for calculating the gpa part we need some you know marks information like a student marks okay so let's uh, create something like that okay and inside this functions inside this class uh, let's define dot that self dot uh, marks equal to marks okay so this marks mean it might be you know it might be list it might be dictionary so because we are going to uh, make it uh, uh, you know we are going to pass as a what we can say it's a list okay it might be many uh, it might be you know multiple uh, marks of the subject okay so it might be you know two subject three subject marks would be inside this uh, list okay so i'm i'm going to explain i am will explain this one i will explain this one so that don't worry about this so let's define one method called calculate dip gpa okay so diff calculate and then calculate and gpa and then self is every time either you are making your own functions or parameterize you have to use self then first we have to calculate you know total so what is total marks so let me show here so basically marks is a type of you know we are going to pass as a list okay so i am going to use let's 90 70 90 98 98 something like that we can pass anything okay or still let's suppose you know one more marks okay fine see this one <coughs> so marks as a list we are going to pass to this constructor okay and then we are going to store here so first what we have to do we have to calculate all marks so th this is a very simple just you have to call some method if this is this is you know uh, list so by default it will automatically traverse it so we have to call this instance message that is called self dot marks okay so self dot marks and then after calculate total marks we are calculated now calculate total subjects so how to calculate this one so just we have to call the length and then length will calculate the number of items inside this list marks list okay then calculate average and then how to calculate average total marks okay and divided by total subjects fine and then calculate gpa equal to average divided by 100 and then multiplied by 10 okay and then we return what will be return let's round this one around till gpa to two decimal point okay so this one 
so after this okay let's calculate the i'm going to comment this one okay i think every time this is not required so let's call print st1 dot calculate calculate gpa this one okay so this are or either you can just just copy paste and then okay dot calculate let's type it then after call this one let's run it again you can see 8.3 is our gp okay so it's like that if you want to create more methods more functions you can create any number of methods or function there is no any limitations let me show you one more let create display info okay and then also pass the self what we are going to do we are going to print the all the informations okay so let's do use the formatted string f name equal to self dot okay so first name this one and again let's copy paste you can type manually so first we have to print this a name then i'm going to print age and then this information is not required only we have to call age and then after find let's call the measure and also this is not required and just let's call the measure <coughs> okay and then after if you want to so the gpa okay so how to call gpa mm, let's write it here gpa so it's let's call the methods okay this one so it it, it is interesting one how to call the methods okay so inside this one okay so you also you will learn this thing this was important one okay so how to call functions inside some expression so you can call like that <coughs> and we do not have to call this one just you also do not have to call print just call st1 dot display info this one okay let's comment it out here also because we are not going to require or also let it be there okay so yeah you can learn by both way how these things are working okay so you can see let me show you again <coughs> see this is our default one if you are calling the object to a string or a string this one we are calling and according to our new output we have this is our new formatted output it will like that okay so how we can create different methods on in inside any classes it's like that just we have to def this is called definition define or in short def means define define function so we are going to define like that so this is underscore there are already in build methods okay and these two method we have created extra one okay so this way you can create any number of uh, methods so now this is the complete class okay so everything we have used in this one again if you want to make something more and if you want to define some uh, we can say some class variables itself so let's write it here let's call this name 
okay so let's make it different and you can write it let me let me write my your college name okay so let's write it here okay now everything we have defined we have created one class variables instance variables some methods these two methods and also a string that is already inbuilt methods okay and now how, how we can print it and if you want to print it uh, you can print okay let me call here print okay call is call is name and how we have to call this how can you call it should we call directly with the help of self okay let this is the tricky part here okay but I'm just going to mention how we can do as per my understanding okay so we should call with the help of a student a student and then call this one okay so this two information are two important concept we are learning okay so one is how to call normal functions uh, normal function means not sorry not function uh, how, how to call instance variable inside the same class it's like that how to call instance methods inside this one you can call simply like that and how to call any class methods sorry not class method class variables okay this is class variables or we can say static so should we call with the help of self or should we call with the classes okay let's see the output and then we'll decide based on the error okay okay so i think in first goal it's working but let me remove this one and then i'm calling is it working or not okay so you can see it's again getting this error because these methods okay are able to access only the instance variable okay only well, instance variable are this with the help of self okay but if you have to call the class variables or class member okay then class member currently is a this variables name also sorry only this variable name only okay so in that class what you have to call what you have to do instead of self okay you have to use the name of the class what is the name of class a student okay so make sure s is capital okay case sensitive is also important and now this is correct so you can see how we can call class in class variables so how we can call it with the help of class name and then with the help of dot operator call the give the name of that variable so the function and now our output is executed our code is ex executed successfully okay so let's remove this one if we want to make it more nicer and this is a fine okay so i think in this class we this is a complete class okay and in this class we have learned what are the different things we can create okay i think based on this you can create any number of classes okay i think you got the idea okay so that's all for this video in next video we'll talk about more uh, conceptual part or we will do not conceptual we will do more hands-on okay so if there is some more questions i will uh, go in more deeper or for i think this is the basic concept how we can create classes how we can define variables how we can call this is string method how we can call in, in it all the things okay there is more concept you know like <coughs> inheritance you know like there are many you know how we can do that so we will also discuss later okay so that's all for this video everyone thank you thank you so much for watching